Gabriel Ash upright cold frame is delivered in three large boxes. Open the boxes and check the components. Please note the boxes are large and heavy, so we recommend two people are required to lift and move the boxes. The upright cold frame consists of several pre-assembled panels, including a front and back panel, left and right side panels, instructions, lid support, shelf supports, fixing kit, left and right doors, pre-glazed lid, staging, shelf, flashing piece, door runner guide and door runner. You will need a PosiDrive PZ2 screwdriver or a battery operated screwdriver with a PZ2 bit. First remove the glass from the left and right side panels. Always wear gloves and safety goggles when handling glass. Carefully remove the pre-fitted cappings. Remove the two pre-fitted brass screws in each capping and put them aside. These will be used to reglaze the cold frame when assembled. The glass panels are located in a slot at the top of each frame, so gently grip the glass between two hands as shown and lift and push the glass out of its recess. Repeat this process for the lower pane. The edges of tough and safety glass are very fragile. Glass must be stored in an upright position and we suggest using the staging and shelf to stack the glass panels on as shown. Next fit the side panels to the front panel. The side panels should be fitted with the side where the cappings fix facing out and with the drip edge of the plinth facing out also as shown. Fit the tongue on the side panel into the groove on the front panel. Ensure the tops align and fix using screw type SC027 and washer WA301 through the three pre-drilled holes, firmly holding the two panels together. Repeat for the second side. The back panel should be fitted with the hinge rail facing into the structure and with the plinth facing outwards as shown. Fix with screw type SC027 and washer WA301 through the pre-drilled holes. Ensure the inner face of the side panel is flush with the inner face of the back panel as shown. Fit all the screws and repeat for the other side. The shelf and staging can be fitted at a height to suit your own requirements. Measure this height and fix the shelf supports using screw type SC305 and washer WA300. Fix all four shelf and staging supports in the same way. Position the flashing piece as shown with each end flush with the outer face of the side panel. Fix in position with screw type SC125. The lid is fitted to the back panel using the hinge assemblies from the fixings kit. The hinge assembly is in two parts, separate these as shown and fit the male part of the hinge to the back panel using screw type SC125 to the pre-marked holes. The front panel top rail has a counterboard hole to take coach bolt BL425. Slide the lid support stay onto this bolt with the angled cut facing towards the back of the cold frame. Then put on the flat washer, spring washer and wing nut. Tighten so the stay easily moves but stays in position in the closed setting as shown. Fit the door on a guide by positioning this with the profile as shown. Flush with the inner face of the corner post and flush with the top of the top rail. Fix using four screw type SC005. Next, fit the two machine screws BL220 into the bracket SA1001. On the inner face of the door runner, mark a position 605mm from each end. Slide the bracket SA1001 into the door runner to the positions previously marked. Tighten the bracket screws until they pinch the bracket. Do not over tighten. Then slide the door runner into the pre-fitted guide until it is flush with each side of the coal frame. Fix this in position with screw type SC125 at each end. Replace the previously removed glass panels in the side panel frames. Slide the glass panel into the frame and into the groove in the top of the frame. Replace the cappings and fix in position with screw type SC305 
and washer WA300. Repeat for the other side. Next, fit the previously separated female hinge half to the cold frame lid. There is a small bit on this hinge that should be located to the bottom of the frame as shown. Line this up with the pilot holes and fix using screw type SC125. The cold frame lid can now be fitted by simply lining up the two hinge halves. Only when the lid is at the correct angle will the hinges slot together and hinge as normal. Next, fit the door wheels. The top of the door frames have pre-marked holes. Line the brackets up with these holes and fix using screw type SC125 to the single hole and slotted hole only at this stage. Fix all the brackets in the same way to both doors. Slide the doors into position by locating the wheels in the top door runner track. The bottom guide should locate on the bottom track as shown. Check the doors align correctly. The door alignment can be adjusted by moving the door wheel bracket up or down on the slotted hole. Once happy they align and you are happy with the position, fix the third screw into each wheel to lock it into position. Once all the fixing screws are fitted, replace the doors. The ends of the door runner have three screw ports. These are to fix the door runner end caps using screw type SC121. Fix both end caps in position. The doors are held closed with the door catch. Fully close the doors and mark the fixing centres using the catch. Fasten the door catch in place with screw type SC125. Fit a second screw leaving a 3mm gap so the door catch easily pushes over and locks the doors together. Finally position the staging and shelving onto the previously fitted support buttons. Your upright coal frame is now complete and ready to be fixed into its permanent location.